Over the years, Minecraft has had different phases of what kind of content has been most popular, whether that be adventure maps, survival maps, mods, minigames, and other things along those lines. And sometimes, there are people who dare to do what no one else has thought of before. Today, we're going to look at 5 maps that changed Minecraft in one way or another. There's obviously way more than 5 influential maps in Minecraft, so if you have any personal favorites, feel free to leave them in the comments section down below and at a later date I'll have a video for mini games as well but without any further ado here are five maps that changed Minecraft forever Before we get started, I want to very quickly name some maps that won't be on this list, though they're all extraordinary maps. So, Escape Craft, Ant Farm Survival, The Dropper, Harrowbrine's Mansion, and the entire Super Hostile series. All of these maps are absolutely fantastic and definitely deserve a shout out. Alright, number one is Skyblock. Created in September of 2011, this map redefined survival maps in Minecraft, which was a very popular thing at the time already. While most maps at the time put a heavy focus on building as much as possible, this tiny map focused on one thing, start with the bare essentials and just work from there. There was a set of challenges to complete and you had to use what little resources the map provided in order to complete them. A common tool used in survival these days is called a cobblestone generator where you have to strategically match flowing water to hit flowing lava and from there like the original days of Minecraft your imagination was truly the limit of all the items on this list I feel this map had the single biggest impact Number two is the adventure map known as the Deep Space Turtle Chase, an adventure map created by the Voxabox team and Captain Sparkles in October of 2011. This map pushed the boundary for adventure maps far beyond where that boundary had ever been before. In this map, after your space mining facility is attacked and destroyed, it is your mission to find and apprehend the criminal responsible known as Earl S. Testudine. Integrating a clever mix of sound mods with an incredible texture pack, this map told a story like no other Minecraft map before it. While the features that this map brought to the table seem trivial now with resource packs, it was certainly extremely revolutionary at the time. Alright, number three, the survival games. In a time where the primary focus of Minecraft was survival, adventure maps, and blowing up as many things as possible with TNT, a movie called The Hunger Games had just come out in theaters. While the original book trilogy for this movie had existed for a while, the beginning of the movie trilogy also marked the beginning of the explosion of Hunger Games style maps in Minecraft. The idea behind this map is pretty simple. Anywhere between 2 and 24 people are spawned into the middle of the map and they get supplies from the chests within the center and then get out. After that, it's last man standing wins. Variede and his team made the first big Hunger Games style map just titled The Survival Games. The first Hunger Games movie came out on March 23rd, 2012, the original Minecraft map on April 5th, 2012, and my first video of the map where I faced off against 11 other massive YouTubers came out on April 17th, 2012. If you're not a super old school fan of this channel, here's a link to the video. But with Without spoiling the details, the result of that match, and the second one, and the third one, changed my YouTube Minecraft career forever, for the better. Alright, number 4 is Hypixel's Blaze Boss Battle. Released about 2 months after the original survival games map that I mentioned before, there is now a huge focus on minigames in the Minecraft community. Servers like Skitscape's massive multi-server network were gaining insane attention, but Minecraft as an engine for other minigames was still pretty young. And in June of 2012, the Blaze Boss Battle came out. While it was not the first of its kind, it definitely was the best of its kind. I favor this map because I'm a huge fan of challenge maps with multiple phases of tough but fair mechanics. Not many maps that attempted this got it right. Having recently come off of a year of playing World of Warcraft, I knew what the potential for incredible boss fights in Minecraft were. Throughout the course of 2012 and 2013, boss battles and challenge maps were a big thing and to be honest, I wish more quality maps like this were still released today. While this 
map might be quite old, the quality and challenge of it still very easily stand the test of time. Alright, and the last item on this list is Cops and Robbers. While the map on its own wasn't extraordinarily revolutionary, it brought forth a significant addition to Minecraft videos, the modern idea of role playing. The concept of just making up characters and creating a story all on its own with yourself and the people that you're playing with as the characters was a fairly new idea. Up until then, it was common for maps to just guide you through a story of its own, but now it was really up to the YouTuber to tell the story with the map merely serving as a backdrop. And that just about covers it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video. It helps out myself, the channel, and the video quite a lot. And if you have any maps in mind that you'd like to list, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below as well. But anyways guys, I hope you all have enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.